Okay guys, I just got my uh, second order of my aluminum diamond plate that I'm using uh, on my camper project. Um, I've got, I got it from uh, onlinediamondplate.com. Um, I really like this stuff. I think it's going to work uh, really well on my camper. Um, plus, I like it so much I have other ideas on how to use this stuff. Um, I almost didn't order this because um, of a few reasons actually. Uh, one reason was they ship it um, just like you see here. Uh, they, they, they roll it up, stick it in this box, and ship it UPS. Um, now you can get uh, 4x8 or 4x10 sheets. I've been getting 4x10 because uh, the longer sheets work better for my camper. Uh, but they ship um, all the diamond plate rolled up. Now I was worried I was going to have a really hard time unrolling this stuff and trying to bend it back straight. Um, that is not the case. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a second here. Uh, second reason I almost didn't order this was I thought I was going to have a hard time uh, working with this stuff, um, cutting it, and uh, Again, that's not the case. Uh, this, this stuff cuts really nice um, if you have the right tools. Um, so um, I'm going to do an unboxing of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to get it out of the box, show you how easy um, this stuff comes out of the box and how easy it is to really work with this stuff. So I'm going to start the unboxing and show you how, show you how this stuff uh, unrolls. Okay guys, so there it is. It's, it's as simple as that. Um, I just cut the box open. It's a little easier to, to get it out that way. Uh, plus I have a little cardboard for it to, to lay on instead of the cement here. Um, and you can see it, it pretty much unravels itself um, pretty flat. The ends here kick up a little bit, but nothing that's, uh, nothing that's caused me any trouble. Um, I can, I can work with it right now if I want to. Um, so uh, they don't want to stay curled. Uh, that was one of my concerns that they were going to stay curled up and I was going to have to fight with it and, and try to bend it back and crease it and you know none of that happens. I mean they just uh, they unroll themselves almost. Um, so um, there's the unroll, I guess. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you next how I uh, am cutting this stuff. And again, um, not nearly as difficult as, uh, as I thought. Okay, so now the tools um, that you're going to need 
to uh, cut this uh, aluminum. Um, first one here, just a pair of hand shears. Um, you can get this stuff at uh, the uh, home stores. And uh, I mean, you can see it, it cuts it, uh, it cuts it real easily. Um, you know, you can do the hand shears, it, it'll cut, um, you know, detail work or small little snips or something. Um, these work, these work good for. Um, my preferred method of, of cutting this stuff because I'm cutting 10 foot long sections and stuff like that. Um, I got me some air powered, um, these are air powered shears. You can see, uh, basically it, uh, you stick it in there and it's gonna, it's gonna pinch the metal and it's gonna cut it. You see it slices through that pretty good. It uh, works better on a, a larger piece that you can hold better. But um, another thing with this, you got to watch out the because the diamond uh, are punched into it, so they come up. You got to watch out you don't get your uh, your shear jammed up on that. But uh, this is really nice for. Uh, for making long cuts. Uh, this thing does not want to turn very well. Um, it's, it's better for uh, straighter cuts. Um, if you need to do lots of uh, different types of shapes. Um, I've got here uh, what I call an air nibbler. And you can see it's got a uh, a deal on there that uh, basically just punches out. I guess it nibbles at the uh, nibbles at it to uh, cut it, but uh, this thing is good for uh, need to make uh, different types of curves and stuff. Um, this is nice for doing that. And this will cut long straight cuts too, but uh, the only thing I do not like about this air nibbler is it leaves it leaves a bunch of these uh, sharp deals, if I can get the camera to focus in on that. It leaves a bunch of these sharp deals all over the place. And we, I got a dog, you saw in the unraveling, I got a dog in the shop here. And getting something like that in his paw probably wouldn't be very, uh, very good feeling. But um, the air nibbler, it does a, you know, it does a good job. Like I said, uh, it turns, it turns a lot better than the shear. The shear, you ain't going to be able to get this to turn much. It's pretty much a straight deal. Um, but... If you're planning on cutting a lot of this stuff, I would definitely recommend um, some air tools. Uh, it's going to make your life a lot easier uh, tr doing a lot of trimming. Um, if you're not doing very much of it, you know, you can get away with a hand, a hand shear. Your hand might hurt after a little while, but if you're not doing very much, you don't need the air tools. So that's the way I like to cut this stuff. Um, and like I said, um, not nearly as hard to cut it. As I thought it was going to be, um, it's actually fairly simple. And uh... Okay, so there's my little video, guys, on the uh, aluminum diamond plate that I got from uh, onlinediamondplate.com. Um, really like the stuff. Uh, can't wait to get it uh, on my camper here. I know it's going to look good. Um, I think it's going to work out really well, too. Um, you know, uses for this stuff. Use your imagination, unlimited. Um, I think you can make some really cool stuff with this. 
Um, and I'm actually, I've got a few ideas on how I can use this stuff in the future. So um, I will be doing that. Um, I got this stuff in the black because I, I thought that would be a, a good uh, contrasting color with the camper. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I love black. Uh, they also have the natural aluminum color. And I saw on their website they do have uh, a gray color now. So um, I guess that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.